It was the end of another amazing work day. I went to start my car with the key fob and proclaimed to my co-workers, I'm out. To my surprise, I was notified that my car starter was out of range. And then, of course, Ashley had to horn in and start saying something like, mur, 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 Too bad you can't use your phone. Which got me thinking. The parking lot at work is huge, and it seems like I'm always parked out of range. This project revolves around building a circuit to control my pre-installed aftermarket remote start, giving me the capability to control it using my phone and the cellular network to overcome range restrictions. To begin the project, I went to digikey.com to create my bill of materials. The 3G Electron Development Kit was the perfect choice because it includes the Electron, a tall glass antenna, a USB cable for programming and power, a LiPo battery, SIM card, mini breadboard, pinout reference card, and a few miscellaneous components for testing purposes. The SIM card provides service in more than 100 countries and comes with three months of the Particle's 3 megabyte data plan for free. While waiting for my parts to arrive, I created the circuit board using the Autodesk Eagle PCB design software. Since this project is a permanent installation, I decided to create a PCB, and because this was a single layer board, I was able to make it myself in our tech lab. However, if you don't have the equipment to make your own, there's a zip file included in our maker.io article that includes everything you need to have a board manufactured. I recommend using Oshpark for any and all board creation. Since the electron cannot accept the full voltage coming from the car's battery, a voltage regulator was put in place to provide the electron with a steady 5 volts. When prompted, the electron will send signals to opto-isolators on three separate digital IOs. These signals cause the opto-isolator to send a ground pulse to start the vehicle, lock or unlock, depending on which task is selected by the user. To begin the setup process, go to setup.particle.io. I already had an account on Particle's website, so I skipped that step, but any new users will need to create an account. Be sure to verify that the electron is in listening mode. If the onboard LED is blinking blue, proceed with setup. Otherwise, press and hold down the mode button. Setup does require a credit card number because after the first three months, there will be a small monthly service fee. Before installation, you'll need to flash the provided code onto the electron. Once you see this screen, select the device to be flashed and click the lightning bolt icon to flash over the air. Wait to verify the flash was successful. The electron is now ready to use. Using a service called If This Then That, I was able to create widgets on my phone. I linked my Particle account on their website and I was then ready for installation. After the code was uploaded, I downloaded the IFTTT app and created three separate widgets on my cell phone, one for each separate command. Once everything was programmed, tested, and assembled, it was time to install. This will require you to remove the dash panels under the steering wheel. You can find vehicle-specific wiring information at the12volt.com. Find a constant positive wire and a grounding point to provide power to the circuit. Then there will be one wire each for lock, unlock, and start coming from the pre-installed remote start module. The color of the wires will be dependent on the manufacturer and will need to be verified with the remote starts installation manual. Test to ensure it's functioning properly, then piece the dash back together. After installation, I successfully tested all the widgets. All systems were go. Back at work with a fully functioning system, I'm confident that my car is always in range. In your face, it works, and I was out for the day. This project gives me the ability to start my car from anywhere, no matter how far away my car's parked. What the heck? Ugh. Why does this keep happening? Like this video? 
Want to learn more about other interesting projects from DigiKey? Subscribe to our channel.